My name's Mandingo, and I'm going to show you what it takes to practice medicine in some of the most dangerous places in the world. I'm in central Auckland, about to get transported to an uninhabited location in the wilderness. Let's go! As part of the reinvigorated medical school curriculum, medical students are being thrust deep into the Maungas, forced to survive using only their professional and clinical skills. This is Medverse Wild. I'm submerged in the forest of Whangarei, one of the most high places in New Zealand. The jungle here can be perilous, disorientating and lonely, and it's essential that you plan your route carefully. Come on. Okay, this used to be an ancient Kumara field right here, so I'm just gonna have a listen, see if any of them are still living. All right, I think we got one. Okay, hope this isn't tapu, but uh... And there we go. Kumara, ready to eat. All right, uh, she's ready to eat just like this, so let's go. If my years of experience in the bush have taught me anything, it's that it's impossible to perform the Heimlich maneuver alone. That's why I've adapted my own technique, the Heineken maneuver. Make sure you always have a cold one handy, as well as a conventional bottle opener, in case you need to wash down any debris. A little bit of parkour for you guys. Guys, I'm genuinely stuck right now, like, it's not even a joke. So uh, here in the bush, bacteria, it's all over the place. So uh, the risk of sepsis is quite great with the cut. So we're just gonna, the great thing, the great thing about these, this bush, you know, you're in nature's pharmacy, nature's drugstore as I call it. And uh, you know, you're just surrounded with very helpful medicines from mother nature. So if you look, no, that's no good to me. So, oh. no. Oh, here we, here we come, come on. So uh, this, this, this is the one, this is the plant. Um, this has been used for, for centuries now for, um, if I'm right, the fruit of this will contain a powerful natural antiseptic. So I'm just gonna, just gonna, just gonna take a look in here. So, oh, you know, this is good. This is good science. And yeah, there you go. Okay, so let's get her open. What I love about these is the, these are these new easy open ones. So just, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, and there we go. Got her open. This is gonna allow you to get just the right amount. So look at that. Okay. So I go. I think we're ready to go. You need to move like a shore of fish to effectively penetrate the bush. When in the undergrowth, it's always important to constantly inspect and assess your surroundings. Yeah, shit, the water levels, it's rising, so we're gonna, we're gonna quickly get to higher ground. There's no time, we gotta keep moving. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I, I may have lost my survival bag, but um, at least I've got my emergency fanny pack and um, this has got only the essentials in it. So it should see me through the night. So uh, come, come get a look, come get a look, come look what we got in here. So um, yeah, that's no good to me. Um, so these, so a lot of, you know, when you're in the bush a lot and it's rainy season, so the risk of a heavy flow is very real. And you know, I know a lot of guys, you know, they're in the bush, they're not comfortable talking about this stuff. So the reality is this could save my life. So we're gonna keep those. And these, oh yeah, okay. We probably don't have enough, but this, this might see me through tonight. So um, just the risk of predators really in this bush is quite real. I've managed to find a water source. This is a prime opportunity to gather some kaimoana, or food of the sea. 
If I'm not successful tonight, I'm going hungry. Hungry like the wolf. All right, I'm gonna need to get a fire started if I'm ever gonna have dinner. So, yep. Oh, yep, right here we've got some, we've got some very dry material here. Very dry. Oh, look, look at that. You can, you can almost see it through the camera how dry it is. Oh. It's, we've been really lucky actually to find something this dry in the rainforest, so it's great. And that should, yeah, that's going to take off. And look at that, it's just going up, it's so dry. Got my kamawana that I've uh, managed to catch, so we're just, just a really simple local way of cooking the fish and you just want to, yep, there you go. And that's, that's going to cook nicely, so we're going to leave that for about 10 minutes. Yep, that's done, it's definitely dead, so... Ooh, yeah, look at that. Let's see that natural flavor, that natural seasoning, and if you open it and it's... Look at that consistency. Okay, so this fish is going to release omega-3 in my brain. Let's give it a taste. It's good. It's really good, actually. I've got myself some food, and I'm on the way to find shelter, but little do I know, there's a sinister surprise waiting for me, just around the corner. Okay, 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 okay. So, I've actually just spotted a, um, a local predator in the bush, so we're just gonna, we're gonna be very quiet, because these guys are very dangerous. You know what they're capable of. You know, these guys are really down for anything, so we're just gonna get out of here, right now. <laughs> It's never nice to find yourself thrust into the middle of a vicious cockfight, but I've come out unscathed. Ideally, you want to exit the bush as close to your house as possible, if not at your house, just as I've done here. Time to go inside for a well-earned quesadilla.